Good evening and welcome to the worldwide hangout with the Kuti Mangoes. We are so happy to be together again after several months of not being together. And uh, we we'll have been looking forward to this evening of music, uh, catching up with friends from all over the world, uh, and hanging out with uh, all our lovely friends in the hangout room. And uh, let me just uh, pass this on to our good friend, Nils Christian Silberberg, who's uh, manning the Zoom room. <laughs> nice to have you here. Yeah, it's a total uh, mayhem right now. We've got 40 or so people um, all here in the, in the hangout room. It's, uh, we, are, we have done this in, uh, in kind of two-way uh, section because, uh, of course, there's the live stream, which you are lis uh, listening to new and, uh, uh, now and, and, uh, and watching. And then we've got a hangout room on Zoom. You can uh, uh, follow the link in the description to this uh, live stream. And you can come in here and, and have a chat with me and uh, listen to the live stream, of course, um, at the same time. You are very welcome to uh, pass some comments on to the band and also questions. I will be monitoring everything uh, on the way. So uh, please do that and welcome to, to the show.
All right, guys, that was uh, fire uh, from the Coochie Mangoes. And um, uh, let me just say that uh, this is a live stream from uh, Coochie Mangoes, uh, uh, a live stream that's all about caring and sharing um, and listening to and reaching out to some of the guys that the band know and of course all the audience and there's a lot of guys uh, in here on the zoom stream we've uh, dedicated a, a small hangout place where you can uh, can join us you can follow the link in the description to this live stream and uh, you can come there and uh, chat with us here and um, let me just uh, pass the word to uh, to Costa now or Michael <laughs> thank you Nils um, yeah, w this evening we are actually launching our brand new Patreon profile. And um, you can, uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, there's a link on our website. It's a place where you can sign up to, uh, to give a, m a monthly support to the band. Uh, it's Maunus who came up with three brilliant uh, names for those uh, three uh, different types. There's a small one called Kuti Minions. And there's a slightly bigger one called Kuti Munchkin. And uh, the big one where you, uh, where you support the best way possible is called uh, Kuti Maniac. Right? Yeah. And uh, of course, we would be more than happy if you would uh, consider that. But don't do it right now, because s please stay here with us instead of going to Patreon. Just do that afterwards. Um, now we would like to, uh, to, to show a bit, this whole evening is about meeting people and uh, connecting with people uh, that we uh, have met over the years and we are connecting to the audiences around the world. And uh, we have also some interviews with some great friends of the band from all over the world. And, um, and the first one I would like to introduce is uh, a wonderful, uh, uh, lady saxophone player from Japan. Uh, her name is Naka Tsukamoto, and we'll uh, put on a small interview I did with her a few days ago about the whole situation for her and her friends in Japan. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. And you? Good. I'm good. Um, so, uh, it how is how is everything for you in uh, Japan? You are in Nagoya, right? I live in Nagoya, but I came back to my parents' house like a month ago. Okay, so that's just in, just yeah. I left whole thing there. Okay. I still have apartment, but I just came back because I have no place to play there, or you know, all the lessons are cancelled. Well, you yeah. were in Copenhagen last year, and we. Yes, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm I was. Sorry, I'm sorry we couldn't meet. It's but okay. How, it's okay. How was your stay here? I loved the city. I loved the city. That was great. Amazing. Oh, how is life where you are now? Are you allowed to go out? And uh, how? How is it? Yeah. Well, we can go out, and people are still working. Okay. But all the jazz clubs or concert halls, concert halls and restaurants, bars are all, all closed. How is the feeling in, in Japan? Are, are many people afraid of this or are they taking it pretty, you know, is it okay? Well, I think we're afraid yes. of the virus for sure, but it's kind of, we don't say like, we, you can't go out. The government doesn't say you can't go out or you stay home like that. They, they offer you to stay home. They offer you to. <laughs> Do you to know what I mean? Yeah. It's better for everyone to stay home. In Denmark, it is if you have a small business that has been closed down mm -hmm. because of this, you can apply for some money from the government. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I, I did it. I did it yesterday. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear that that's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it for you and your friends to be uh, musicians in Japan now? Well, <laughs> it is really hard. I mean, like, in, in March, 
we were still playing. Yes. We were still playing, but on April, we started to not play. Yeah. Because we didn't want to make our friends being sick. No, of course. So, so we, we stopped. And then I, at the time, I wasn't sure how long it will last. And no. I don't even know yet. <laughs> no, me neither. So you, you, you mostly just stay at the house? Uh, yeah. Not, you, you don't go for walks? or uh, I don't walk go for a walk. No. <laughs> I mean, I go to supermarket, grocery store, just once in a week to get whole food for a week. <laughs> yeah. What is your um, feeling about, you know, when you will be able to, to live a normal life again in Japan? Well, I have a concert, concert rescheduled on January, but I hope that will happen. I think that will happen. I think. In January. But yeah. Yeah. January, yeah. But I don't know if people come. No. That's you don't. You know. You know what I mean? Yes. One thing is to be allowed to play. Another thing is that if people are afraid to come, then you have a big problem, right? Right. It's not gonna. It's not gonna keep happening. So. No. No, it's really hard to stay connected to the audience with a thing like this. It's it's mm -hmm. a hard thing. Right. Yeah. But uh, so maybe maybe a year. In, in, in my yeah, take a year or two. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. But we can we just can do what we can do right now. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so glad you wanted to join. Thank you so much. And uh, and tell us on online. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. And um, and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Please stay safe and be well. Your family, whole your family, friends. You too. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.
this was a track called Desert Moon. Um, you are watching a live stream from the Coochie Mangoes, the Coochie Mangoes Worldwide Hangout, where um, the band members are trying to reach out during these, these uh, different uh, or difficult <laughs> corona times uh, to all their friends and of course all you guys who love the band, all the fans out there. Uh, let me pass um, the microphone over to Gustav, who is going to speak uh, about yeah, one of your friends, right? Exactly, yeah. This, uh, this next uh, short video you're going to see is, is done with our wonderful friend Patrick Cabret from Burkina Faso. Uh, he's actually been a big part of the band for many years. We met him uh, I think six or seven years ago and uh, where he appeared on our first album, Afro Fire. And then we then visited him in Burkina Faso for our second album and we've of course kept in touch with him and toured and so on. So last week uh, I had a, a, a nice catch-up call with him uh, and uh, well uh, this is what he has to say about these times living in Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso. Salut, c'est bon de te, de te voir. Salut Gustave, moi aussi je vais, je vais bien. On est au soleil, il fait, il fait 43 degrés, 42 degrés à 10 heures du matin, donc ouais. <rire> c'est un, euh, un peu plus chaud que, que Danemark, mais euh, alors... Ouais, ouais, c'est vrai. <rire> Ça vient. Euh, chaleur, yeah. ouais. <rire> et et dites-moi, Patrick, euh, tu peux euh, expliquer un petit peu euh, euh, de, du B euh, au Waga euh, à ce moment ben, euh, ici, tout est un peu calme pour tout le monde. Et euh, surtout pour ceux qui travaillent dans le domaine de musique, tout est bloqué, tout est arrêté, toutes les dates sont annulées. Donc, on ne sait même pas quand est-ce qu'on pourra revenir en Europe, aux États-Unis ou partout, parce que le monde est bloqué. Et ici, comme on n'a pas forcément de statut clair ou on a assurance, donc chacun se débrouille. On n'a pas vraiment d'aide qui puisse te permettre de... Voilà. Donc, donc, on va dire que tout n'est pas facile du tout. Mais comme on dit chez nous, ça va aller. Quoi. Je, je crée de la musique, mais ce n'est pas facile tout le temps parce que tu peux ne pas avoir l'inspiration, parce qu'on ne sort pas, parce que... Parce que bon. Donc, tu vis. quoi. Je, quand il y a l'inspiration, tu rentres travailler. Quand il n'y a pas d'inspiration, ben, tu, tu restes... Ben, tu tournes à la maison ou tu pars voir des amis. Et, non, de, le maladie pour, pour vous à Ouaga, est-ce est que c'est est, euh, est dur maintenant? Nous, nous on, est, on est déjà dans la maladie à longtemps. Le paludisme malaria tue plus que le coronavirus. Oui. Euh, on a plein d'autres maladies. Il y a la galère, il y a le soleil. Il y a... Donc, chaque jour, en fait, est une chance qui... Voilà. Et puis, je... On n'a pas peur, en fait. En réalité, c'est nouveau pour les autres, mais ce n'est pas nouveau pour nous, on va dire ça comme ça. Mm -hmm. Parce qu'on a toujours été confinés toute notre vie. Je ne sais pas mm -hmm. si tu comprends ce que je veux dire. On n'a jamais eu le droit de quitter chez nous. La pleure pour pouvoir voyager, il te faut un visa. Pour pouvoir, euh, tout le <rire> temps, quand tu es en Europe, on te demande tes papiers. Euh, partout où tu es, on te demande tes papiers. On ouais. dit, euh, mais tu ne devrais pas être là. Donc, en fait, il y a longtemps que nous sommes confinés, en fait. Il y a longtemps que nous sommes en quarantaine. Oui, il y a longtemps qu'on meurt de Ebola, de, de sida, de malaria, de, de ouais. tout. Donc, euh, aujourd'hui, est-ce que c'est nouveau C'est vraiment pas nouveau et, et on n'a pas peur. Donc, euh, écoutez les gens ici, ils ont le moral et c'est pas nouveau. Ici, non. on meurt tout le temps de tout et de rien. Ouais. Ses amis, les musiciens, euh, euh, pendant ce, ce, ces moments et, et situation euh, générale, que, que c'est difficile pour, pour tout, oui? Oui, c'est difficile, mais vraiment pour tout le monde. Pour tout le ouais. monde, parce que c'est comme j'ai dit, nous vivons chaque jour, mmh. chaque jour. Ouais, c'est ouais. ce qu'on a gagné aujourd'hui qu'on mange le soir. Donc, la majorité, hein, je ne dis pas tout le monde. Euh, et je pense que c'est aussi une belle occasion pour que nous puissions voir qu'est-ce que nous pouvons faire pour que le jour, quand on ne peut plus jouer, on puisse savoir qu'est-ce qu'on peut bien faire pour, 
pouvoir se nourrir. Ouais. Mais pour dire, c'est vraiment très dur pour certains. Je reçois aussi des messages et tout pour demander des aides. Et, euh, et moi, je dis que même moi, je n'ai absolument rien parce que je devrais travailler beaucoup. Et ouais, euh, donc, j'ai pu aider ce que je pouvais aider. Ouais. Et je n'ai pas pu aider. Donc, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait? L'idée, c'est que j'ai monté ce qu'on appelle Scène Lab. Mm -hmm. Et euh, c'est d'inviter les artistes à venir sur une scène et jouer un titre. Et ouais. en échange, pour ceux qui veulent et qui sont nécessiteux, c'est de leur donner un peu, voilà, soit des sacs de riz, soit de, un peu d'argent, soit quelque chose comme ça. Mais je pense que euh, même si on doit faire des dons, il faut passer par leur art. Façon... Qu'est-ce que tu penses du rôle de la musique euh, dans ces moments comme maintenant? Elles mmh. sont ouais. importantes dans ces, dans ces périodes parce que les, les gens ont, écoutent de la musique, ils peuvent regarder leurs artistes autrement. Donc la musique a pris une autre couleur, une autre tournure et les gens voient leurs artistes autrement dans son salon, euh, voilà, dans sa salle, les répétitions et tout. Donc, je pense que c'est vraiment essentiel. Je pense que c'est une des choses qui permet à la, au monde de, de résister, même, même s'il y a le confinement et qu'il y a des problèmes. Ça permet aux gens de toujours espérer, de ouais. toujours résister. Donc, c'est un moyen de résistance, selon moi. Oui. Merci à ta famille, à tout le monde. Ah, euh, alors, merci. Merci. Allez. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. So uh, just one uh, bit of news for everyone watching is that we've decided to donate uh, all the proceeds from tonight and the next week forward up to 1,000 euros to Patrick's new initiative called Sen Lab, where uh, he promotes local uh, Burkina-based uh, performers. So um, we, s we certainly hope that you'd like to support that. This next one is a song that Patrick taught us. It's called Tolma. Thank you. 
was the track called Shima, and uh, it was the Gucci Man goes. I can just uh, maybe I don't know. We have a short delay on the uh, stream here on uh, on uh, on the little hangout we have here on Zoom. But can you guys just give a shout out to the band? Just some love, uh, maybe some clapping. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the Kuti Mangos Worldwide Hangout. Uh, the band is playing for you guys. It's all about love, sharing, caring uh, about you guys and all the friends from the Kuti Mangos. Uh, I'm just gonna give the word to uh, Mikael now, but Mikael, I just want to say that in this very room, a lot of years ago, you recorded your debut album. Isn't that true? That's very true. <laughs> uh, because uh, in this very room, uh, this is uh, the best studio in the whole world. It's uh, our great friend Thomas Wang who owns this place. And uh, together with uh, the wonderful guys from Brinkmann and from Norsø Records, Thomas from the village has made all of this possible. So a big shout out to those guys. <laughs> yep. And um, and we feel that uh, this whole evening, that of course we could just have been playing a lot of music, but we wanna, we m we miss all of you guys, and we miss uh, hearing and uh, from all kinds of places in the world, and we miss traveling, because traveling makes uh, you you get a so much broader horizon about uh, traveling, and you meet new people and learn a lot of stuff, and. Um, and we have a wonderful guy uh, up next who is a saxophone player from Brazil. And um, and he, I think it was maybe last year or so, he released, uh, two years ago, he released an album where he recorded one of our songs. And we met him last uh, year, in two years ago, in, in Germany. Uh, and uh, there's a small interview uh, with him and uh, his wife. His name is Estras and his wife is Mariana. And uh, we know that the situation in Brazil is, uh, yeah, of course, like many other places, um, a, a, a struggle for a lot of people. So uh, check it out and check out his, his version of our song. Here goes Estras. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't see you right now. Ah, maybe I can. I can. Can, you. can you see uh, me now? Yeah. Ah, and I can see you. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, how are you? Good. Cool that you are up for this uh, thing. <laughs> so let's, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the situation right now. How are things in, uh, in, in Brazil? How, uh, how does it feel right now for you? It's strange times everywhere, right? We have a little bit of an extra layer because we have a very political very strange political situation with a crazy president let's let's give the right words for it <laughs> he is out of control it's serious i mean it's he is out of control it's 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 ridiculous to the point that we had a minister that was following the who instructions and he removed that minister two weeks ago oh, okay. and no one else that agrees with him on yeah. so basically Take away anyone who disagrees with them. That's what's happening. Okay. Um, so, 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 so who tells you what to do? At, at this point, the state governors are doing a better job. So the okay. state governors are, 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 tell, are, are trying to do, follow the WHO instructions. But they only can go so far because unfortunately there is a, a still rather large part of the population that is just as crazy as this crazy president. And that fully agrees with everything he does and go out on the streets and protest that we have to reopen everything. And it's, 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 it's insane. There's an expression that we say often that Brazil isn't for amateurs. Mm. <laughs> well, definitely not for amateurs. No, are, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're out of control here. <laughs> yeah, 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 wow. What about, what about your like a uh, daily life? What are you able to, to play music and earn money or how do you, how do you go about <laughs> you play music but not earning money? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> when do you think that you can go back and play a concert for like a hundred people? In Brazil, uh, the, the, for the, 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 the pubs, the venues, the festivals, 
only only next year. I think yeah. well, the, the the people are, are trying to be optimist optimist and say October September, but I think Brazil only next year. And for us, that work with, with music and culture and and uh, in Brazil is the, the is the last thing to start to go to the normally and to reopen, yeah. But it's different. It's difficult because you need to, you need to think. We need to think how we are going to make the music to make ourselves satisfied and make us happy. The the thing that moves our our feelings, and we also need to think how we are going to make the music to to make the business go. So we have this do these two situations, and we 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 here don't know the answer for. For any of them. <laughs> any of them. No. What you can do is trying, trying to do things, trying to do conversations like this, trying, 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 trying. Everyone, every artists uh, are making live, but by the live stream, by Facebook or Instagram, and something like this. But as you said, I, I don't like this this way of playing because I think you not not sharing the, the music the, the the experience to be together but i i don't know how how to how what's the solution the solution yeah. <laughs> how, how do we how do we I, there there doesn't seem to be any other path at this moment because yeah as you said i mean even if we do start opening up I, people are going to at least part of the people I think are going to be scared of going to certain places just because they don't want to be in contact with anyone else just because you know we're being instilled with this information that you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. You can't you're yeah. saying, and and so and then you know even though I I miss going to a live concert, I don't want to go into a small room with a bunch of people close to me, and I don't want that now. No. And so it's a it's a complicated situation because I miss it terribly. I'm sure so many other people miss it terribly, but but how do we find a way of of <laughs> getting around that right now with this current situation. So it seems like it's so important also for our band. If we can't go out there and meet our audience, it, it everything feels uh, totally meaningless. We can't sit in our own living room and do a recording and then send it out on the market and then say, yes, that's it. It's not enough. We need to be able to go out there and present our music and meet our audience. Share the music and share the moment uh, with, a, with, a, with an audience. That's what it's all about. Do you feel the same thing? Totally. totally, yeah. totally. Every day. Most important thing is it's to connect with people, different people all over the world. And the, we have the internet, but... It's but not the same. Not the <laughs> same. No, exactly, exactly. Do you actually fear that you're not able to, be, to live as a musician uh, in a year or whatever, in a half a year from now, that you have to do something else or whatever? I, I, know, I know that I, I try not to have fear. And I am trying always to to think that this is a business that a lot of people in the world depends on this. It's very important for the people, a lot of people in the world in different ways. But uh, I think it will be at, at uh, we have a change, a very, and it will not be easy. But I think you go through this. Uh, mm. I don't know how. I have no idea. <laughs> but we will figure it out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. For an answer. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. we're all in the same boat, right? We're yeah. pretty yeah, much exactly. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. <laughs> we're, trying to... we're all just trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for for spending the time. It was so nice to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. yeah. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now we'd like to do the song that uh, Isras recorded on his album. This is uh, a song of our second album. It's This Ship Will Sing.
Watching the Cootie Mangoes Worldwide Hangout stream right now. Um, the Cootie Mangoes is a band from Denmark reaching out to all their friends from all over the world. And I can just say that right now there's shout outs from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. There's shout outs from Dortmund in Germany. Yeah, you can clap, uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's shout outs from Finland and uh, other places around the world. Of course, also Copenhagen, where this is broadcast from on the, the internet. Um, we have two streams going on right now. There's the live stream you're watching right now, and then we have a hangout room where you can join us. Uh, we have about uh, 50 or 60 people right now, and I can uh, wave at you, and you can wave back at me and the band, and that's all very nice. So please come over to Zoom, where we have a ha hangout room. Um, and uh, now we are gonna go uh, ahead with a track that's one of my favorite tracks from uh, the Kuti Mangoes, and uh, Gustav is gonna tell you all about that track. Thank you very much. This is uh, this n this next song is 
a song from our latest album. It's called Keep You Safe. And of course, this all sounds really familiar for these times. But uh, in fact, when we wrote this song, our thoughts were a bit different uh, and perhaps uh, about a bit more than just the coronavirus. Uh, what, what our intention was with this song is saying uh, that uh, we believe that all human beings deserve a place where they feel safe. They deserve a sanctuary. So this is Keep You Safe.
Two tracks in a row. The first one was Keep You Safe and the last one here was Call of the Bull Bull Bird. You're listening to or watching the Cootie Mangoes Worldwide Hangout stream right now. Uh, we are coming to an end because um, the clock is ticking and... Uh, they didn't play Call of the Bull Bull Bird. Oh, they didn't play the Call of the... That was me. Yeah. I was... I'm struck with, I don't know, Corona color. I don't <laughs> know. What Can you say that in, uh, in some other language than Danish? Uh, anyway, um, this is the worldwide uh, hangout with the Kuti Mangoes, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Um, we have also some shout outs from Italy right now, more shout outs from yes, Germany, yes. Copenhagen, everybody's uh, on here. Uh, and if you're gonna go down t in the description of this live stream, you can um, join us in uh, our little virtual hangout room uh, on Zoom. So please do that. I will be there to greet you. Yes, and the band is going to be there afterwards also, so a lot of reasons to just hop on there. Uh, and the band, please, can you give some shout-outs to your listeners yes. and uh, maybe a little heart, heart yeah. signal? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so the band is going to continue now. Call of the Bull Bull Bird. Yes.
Okay, so that was Call of the Bull Bull Bird. Um, uh, you guys, are you ready for a question? We've got a question right now uh, for, I think it's Eddie, he's gonna maybe um, talk about it. Um, we have a question here, it's from Anne, and she's uh, writing here. What is the instrument that Eddie is playing? It looks like a globe, or is it a pumpkin? Which one is it? It's actually Casper. Yeah. It's a, okay, uh, it's Casper's, it's okay. <laughs> Should, should I say it? Should, it's uh, something we brought home from uh, Mali when we recorded our second album. We were in Mali. And this is from a fruit called uh, uh, Calab... Is the fruit also called a Calabellas? It's a... Uh, and you chop it in half. And you can also uh, have smaller ones where you put stuff in it. Like this one. It's also a Calabas. So uh, can you maybe do a calabash duet? Just uh yeah. <laughs> world world premier calabash duet. Um, any other questions? Uh, not at the moment now. No, but uh, people are listening from uh, uh, Skive. And uh, from Amma and Limfjorn, oh so yeah. it's a very it's a very local thing. I don't know if uh, if any of the international listeners <laughs> <laughs> knows what what those places are, but they are very beautiful places in Denmark. Yeah, actually, like you almost said, it w it it was the last song of tonight's show. But uh, before we uh, we all go home, uh, we would uh, just oh. <laughs> some s you are home. Yeah, that's the strange thing that the audience are home and we are not. But um, I just want to remind, uh, if you uh, if you weren't here from the very beginning, that that tonight we are launching our new Patreon profile, uh, where you can support the band. Uh, the link is on kuchimangos.com. It should be easy to find if you want to check it out. And then, of course, uh, we want to uh, donate um, all up to 1,000 euro. The first 1,000 euro that will come in on sales on the website, uh, merchandise, or just mobile pay or donations on PayPal, we will ship directly to our friend in Burkina Faso to his wonderful project. And um, maybe since the audience are not here, it's impossible to hear if anyone wants to uh, hear an encore. No, no, I can just ask them here on our little hangout. Maybe you can uh, ask in the hand. Uh, does anybody here uh, want an extra number, an extra track? Should they play some more? Please give some, uh, please give that the universal, I don't know, play another track sign. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think that's a, that's a yes. So uh, are you guys we'll ready do, for we'll another We'll do track? one from our second album. It's called Mmba. And we will uh, see you all at the Zoom hangout room after the show. Yeah, the Thank hangout you. room is open after this one. Ready, guys? Wasa, yeah. wasa! Wasa, wasa! <laughs> Thank you.
Music, guys. Uh, yeah, you can't hear um, the guys uh, who are waving here in the Zoom uh, <laughs> studio, but um, you guys that are on the Zoom stream right now are in for a treat. Uh, you're gonna be able to have a chat with the guys from the band, and they are gonna go on uh, right now. So if you are still on the live stream, uh, that was the last track from uh, the Kuti Mango's Worldwide Hangout uh, stream here on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Please go on to Zoom, where we have a small um, hangout room where you can chat with the guys from uh, from the band. You can find a description on how to do that in the in the description below the video here. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and watching all the music from the Kuti Mangos. Here they are, guys. Give them a big shout out yeah. on a safe yeah. distance. Yeah. Distance. See you <laughs> next time. You Bye -bye. can do better than that. You guys, yeah. please. We we need What's you. To, we need you to jump. What's up?